Homelessness in northern Michigan knows no season. People end up without a place to call home for a lot of dis different reasons, and a lot of times it includes multiple complicated issues. In this special report, Seeking Shelter, Reagan Blissett and photojournalist Stephanie Adkins give us a closer look at what homelessness looks like in northern Michigan. The Goodwill Street Outreach Program helped 427 people last year. In Antrim County, they helped 13 people, 16 in Benzie County, and in Grand Traverse County, 243 people. That's more than half of the people that was served, and it's a problem that's not going away. Either he's still here or he's gone to Safe Harbor last night. Street Outreach is a program where we reach out to people experiencing homelessness and bring resources to help them end their homeless right where they are. Hello to camp. Hello, anybody home? For Ryan and his team of six, that means going beyond the streets of Traverse City and into the woods. The street outreach team literally hikes through the woods to find people or check up on those who need their help. Ryan has helped more than 1,000 people over his 12 years with street outreach. He started because homelessness is an experience that he knows all too well. I experienced homelessness for a time in my life as a teenager. and There were some people in my life that really helped me out. But to me, the thought of someone sleeping outside okay. really bothers me. So I do what I can to help people get connected. This is an active camp. During this mid-April search, he came across a new campsite with no one inside. We'll leave a, um... Sorry, I missed you, note. So we can try to connect. When people like Ryan do connect with someone experiencing homelessness, they provide them with information on the Goodwill Inn an emergency shelter with more than 120 beds. During their stay, Goodwill works to connect these people to things like housing subsidies. They've helped me in more ways than anybody can know. Donna Canfield was homeless for 20 years. I was raised in foster care and institutions. So it's like I continued it, I was like institutionalized all these years, you know? And I feel safest at these places. The Goodwill Inn helped Donna get back on her feet. One of the common themes I see among people I serve is significant trauma in their lives, either as a child or growing up. It takes years for people like Donna to overcome the many hardships that come with homelessness. And that's why part of the street outreach program also works to keep track of people who still call these woods home. And that's a tent there. Not very yeah. put together. Yeah. Ryan searching for a man named Gary who spent six months at the Goodwill Inn shelter. Hello to camp. Hey, Gary, how you doing? I noticed it's uh, it's me, Ryan. Oh. Because of the Goodwill Inn's long waiting list, residents can't stay for more than six months. For Gary, that meant returning to his tent. I'm just homeless. <laughs> Um, no place to go. I have uh, a couple of physical disabilities where I really can't work. Ryan found Gary with wet socks and holes in his shoes. We don't normally bring people down here like this to do this sort of thing, but you're in pretty rough shape, man. Ryan took Gary to the Goodwill store because Gary had a voucher for new shoes. They also took this opportunity to get Gary on a housing waiting list. What would you say your, your biggest challenge would be? Surviving another night. <laughs> With warm new shoes, Gary's only choice was to return to his cold tent. And he's just one of the many that Ryan and the street outreach team have dedicated their time and resources to help. Something Ryan says he'll never stop doing. I keep doing this because homelessness is still there. No one should experience homelessness on our streets. If you'd like to help people like Gary through donations of the Street Outreach Program, we posted some information on 9and10news.com. In studio, Reagan Blissett, 9and10news.